Not a lot of people go back this way. And then this is just also trout water in here, so it's deep. There's a couple walleye reefs that I marked, a couple rocks that we'll fish. And then uh, depending on how that goes, we might even go back through the narrows to slender. So I raised some really nice fish in there that oh. I'd like to see in the boat. See, this is the great thing about musky fishing. It actually sucks the vast majority of the time, but we get to just talk about it. Yeah, when yeah. the sightings, yeah. the lures, yeah. the, you know, nobody else does that. No. <laughs> Quite no. <laughs> All right, well, let's go fishing. What do we think? Pipestone Lake, Cedar Island Lodge. Jessie Baker, the infamous musky addict. Now look at her, she's got a file, she's got a lure. And look at this, I love it. Women with buckets of lures, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go catch a musky, shall we? Yeah. Complicated story of how I became a musky addict, but um, my parents bought Cedar Island nine years ago. I caught my first muskie actually when I was seven on a hand-picked worm from the garden and a chartreuse jig in a paddle boat. I kind of do it all here. I guide for the most part. Um, I'm the only one that fishes muskies at our camp. My dad's an awesome walleye fisherman, but it's pretty clueless when it comes to muskies. So, And then I do the, the cooking and cleaning when it needs to be done, but if somebody wants a guide, then that's what I want to be doing. The spots I'm choosing today are based on where I've seen fish the last couple of weeks, but also the wind coming out of the south today, I knew it would be pounding into the shorelines up here, so that's why I picked fishing south. I'm actually gonna fish this weed bed because I've seen a big fish here, but also I feel like I do better on weed beds when it's calm. And in here, we're tucked out of the wind, so. I haven't, uh, weed is not a big structure up here. We don't have a ton of weeds. It's mainly rocks and stuff. So the, the few weed patches we do have are really good. So I try to hit them a little bit, but I'm also just saving the main water stuff for when the wind picks up again. I feel like a lot of fish come into this bay and don't go out. Like, there's a lot of bait source in here. It's deep out in the middle. Uh, there's weeds, there's a few rock humps, a few channels where water comes, streams where water's come in, so. Yeah, this is a neat area. Yeah, this, is, this area almost doesn't even look like it's part of the lake. Kind of like a different feel in here, really high rock cliffs and stuff. Fish, but it's not a muskie. Or maybe it is a, I hope it's, oh, no, it's a little, it's a little musky. little muskie lunge. Oh. I gotta be easy on you, buddy. Sorry about that, man. I set the hook like I thought you were the 45 incher. Oh, they're so cute when they're little. Yeah, they are. Come on, buddy. Oh, you are a pretty little guy. I don't know, is that is that good news or? Yeah, it means we have a good uh, reproduction <laughs> system. He has a muskie. See ya, buddy. Boy, he's out of there. Did not like the looks of me at all. I guess I can't blame him. Yeah, I felt bad. I was a little hard on him after you raised that nice one. I thought maybe it was him. If I would have known he was a baby muskie, I wouldn't have yanked on him like that. Oh, f That looked like a... Pike? I, I think it was another small muskie. I'm not positive, but... That's the hard thing about these things is because the, the hooks are right there. Most times fish hit it like this, yeah. but if they do end up just going after the tail. Oh well, moving on. 
Well, the good news is you can smile because the depth, I saw it quite well. Well, I just tried this extremely ugly lure, Mr. Burbot, who has a whisker, and uh, working it pretty deep. Did two complete figure eights, nothing there, still had it in the water, tail wiggling, and then there was this actually real nice fish, about a 46 incher, with a scar on his back, so I know if we see him again or catch him, we will definitely recognize him. Come right off that point? Or a just, little beyond it. Yeah. But just the way it all occurred, I'm kind of thinking he was just suspended out here. Could have followed him, but I sure didn't see him. I... She wore me out today. Now she wants to go out again. Not and she wants me to get up a God knows when tomorrow, so we're out early. Okay, I'm, we're gonna try the morning bite once, and if it's not successful, we don't have to do it again. Right, but if it is successful, then, we will have to do it again. And then we have to do it earlier. Which means we'll sleep in between the major and the minor, yep. if that's the case. It actually, it actually felt really good. I actually wanted to get up early. I was planning on three, and I begged Jesse over and over and over again. Last night, she said, no, you know, we gotta be reasonable. We got long days. And let's wait. We don't wanna get out in the dark. It's dark and scary. I didn't even have coffee this morning. Oh. I'm running on pure joy today. Oh. Pete was actually a lot more friendly than I was expecting. It was a little quiet in the boat, but I did raise a pretty decent fish that I was excited about, but she was just doing a lot of mouthing at it, so maybe tonight we could go back on her if she's ready to eat. But the major's coming up in like the next hour, and then it's gonna peak at noon which I'm hoping is gonna be good even though it's really hot and sunny today. But we're fishing a new part of the lake, so a lot of deeper rocks, um, bigger pieces of structure, so the fish could be just sitting on the outside of them in the hot weather. So I think today's the day. Same he size as the bait. Came out of nowhere. Easy. Oh man, you really didn't want to do that, did you? You're not even hooked anymore, but you've got the leader stuck in your mouth. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. <laughs> Look at what that little fish did to my. Four liter. Good lord. It was. I was right genus. Just a Lucius instead of a Maskinangi. So we got a third musketeer now. He's a little bit special to me. He, uh, he's special in general, but more special to me. He came all the way from Lake of the Woods today on four hours of sleep to show us how to catch fish on Pipestone. So this is my boyfriend, Doug Wagner. But 
more importantly, he's a fishing guide on Green Bay. So, well, most importantly, he's my boyfriend, but he's also a guide. <laughs> Welcome to Pete's boat. All right, let's just catch a big lunker. Yeah. Yeah. Got one. Yeah. What a pike. Fudge. A little nicer That's pike, a at least. That one. Just had lunch on the major. Yeah, he's been eating that one. Chunky monkey. Yeah. Just ate, but wanted that suit bad. <laughs> so there's a fish here with no name. Yeah. That's not right. You're going to have to name him. I think you ought to name him right here, right now on this show. Let's name her Darcy. Oh, Darcy. Well, there you go. A female Darcy. I was just going to say Darcy from Seine River would be real happy, but then you specified a female Darcy. Pike. Oh, that, was cool. that was first pole. <laughs> bass? Bass? Almost looks like a bass. Like a bucket. It's a bucket. It's a largey. I'll be darned. A nice largey. Yeah. Well, it should be grabbing a suet. <laughs> you don't catch a lot of largemouth bass on suet. Probably just save that bass's life because now the muskie's going to eat this. <laughs> and he's going to live another day. Doug really hasn't taken the, you know, he was commenting that there were several demands a little while ago. One of them was, you, Doug, are supposed to catch a fish. Yeah. yeah. Go here, go there. Doug, you catch a fish. Seems like a disappointment. Actually, anybody Doug, can catch a fish. Look at that little nugget. Retie. <laughs> These are really cool blades. They're 40 thousands Indianas. The skirt's a, is so with stubby. A bow. It's a marabou skirt. Yeah, but it so just looks like a little nugget. Post frontal, okay. It's either that or a supermodel right now. What are you talking about? We literally, I moved a fish on nines. That was eight feet behind it. Well, eight feet closer than you've had one. Oh. It's a musky. Is it? <laughs> Little musky. Oh, yeah. Oh, just a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> But it's a muskie. You told him to catch a muskie. I caught a muskie, Jess. Where, you, where do you want me to start? <laughs> we can start small. Oh, we, wow. we can get bigger. You can always get bigger. This is a big one. the right species. Double XL Drifter. God, you just forced that thing right in there. <laughs> <laughs> I you thought not Pike. stand a chance. Don't hook yourself. The rod actually buckled over pretty good right when you set, so I'm like, eh. Well, you guys have definitely got a good hatch coming around here. Yeah, it's pretty incredible how many small fish you see here. Good for the fishery. Yeah, it really is. Good news. Oh, great. Oh, there's a shower for everybody. Wow. There we go. Look at that guy. It's only the beginning, day two. How's it feel? It feels good. I haven't caught a pipestone muskie in about a month, but this is my smallest pipestone muskie of the year. <laughs> Trust me, they get a lot bigger on this lake, but it's always good to see small fish. I'll tell you what, that's gonna be a big one someday. Someday. For a little guy, he's got a heck of a build. You're gonna be big one day. Yeah. A big fat soul. Okay. Let him go, let him go. All right. 
I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be fine. All right, we're on a feeding window. We got to go. No supper tonight. <laughs> we got to keep fishing. That's the way it goes. <laughs> But you caught a muskie. You did what you were told to do. I, I listened to my girlfriend. That's what nicely good guys do. done. Nicely done. <laughs> We've got two muskies in the boat. Probably the that's got to be some kind of a record of small, small. size for pipestone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are huge ones in here. There really are. Everybody's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. At first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it around and pull it right there. Okay. Oh. Nicely done. Good nice job, Jess. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice spot, Jess. Yeah, That's good thick. call. The guide scores. Good we deal. don't suck. <laughs> no. Muskies are oh, cool again. Muskies are awesome! <laughs> All of a sudden they're great. Who said they suck? <laughs> Foolish person. There's pliers right there. <laughs> See, baby steps. We're getting bigger. We're getting yep, bigger, yeah. That's right. Next one's gonna be just for donkey. Baby step. I'll tell you one thing, Jesse. You are fast getting for that net. I never <laughs> seen anybody sprint so fast back to get a net. It's hard to tell what they look like in someone else's net. Yeah. You look at them, it's like, oh. No, that's not a 40. <laughs> well, we're still moving up. Yeah. It's bigger than the last one. Okay, it's squirrely. It's yeah, not. Oh, look at the that jaw. Happy. Pretty little fish. Yeah. Bucktail way out, way out on the cast. Just had some delicious ribs. And she thought that uh, bucktail was a rib. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's messed up a little on her top jaw. I think she's been caught before, hey Pete? Oh, definitely caught before. Probably uh, quite a few years ago, that particular scratch there, that uh, that damage was done a while ago. Well, like we said, baby steps. Oh yeah. And they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Oh, and she wants to go. My thoughts on today are it was a little bit slower than I was expecting. We did raise that one fish early in the morning, and then I royally messed up that suic one. Well, I didn't royally mess it up, but I didn't even give it a chance to become something. Our third guy here put two fish in the boat, so maybe uh, tomorrow's the day, the new moon. But yeah, I think today was just tough being post-frontal like yesterday. Really least, sunny. It was, yeah, I mean, we had the clouds early and then all this high pressure came in and that definitely didn't help the bite. Especially in clear water, a lot of these Canadian fish seem to take like a recovery day. And, the and tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna get warm again, so we might get a bite window again tomorrow. And the fish we did see today weren't moving very fast, so. Or big. But we still put two in the boat. We're getting bigger, and that's all that matters. Today we're gonna go to a spot that Doug really wants to go to in James Bay. It's like um, three reefs, three reefs in a row. Uh, it's a huge piece of structure, so it'll take us a while to fish and then we'll probably go back in some spots we've already hit. And uh, hopefully catch a big one. Now that's definitely a plan. I, I can go along with 40s that. 40s in the mornings, 50s in the afternoon. I can get that. Doug's gonna give me his bucktail. Well, my bucktail I, that you've been using. I told you I'd do to. Put up a big fuss right at first, now you're not doing much. There 
goes. He was nice fatty. Nice to feel something thump, but it wasn't Martha. Nope. Didn't look like Martha. Now Pete's the pike slayer. Oh, now wait a minute. You got the huh? pike slayer label one, well earned. One more and you're, you're it. I don't know. I think I'd have to catch about three more. <laughs> I'm not going to catch any pike today. I'm not going to catch any pike today. You should have seen him spin right after uh, he hit pike. that thing and started spinning. It was unbelievable. They ah, are, there you go, Pete. <laughs> they're so fast. Yeah, that's all. Claim oh. your title. Here, I forgot the danger I was in. There's one. Are you ready to say goodbye? See ya. Am I really in danger of being the pike master, do you think? You are the pike master. Oh, come on now. I am not. Raise I think your we're getting high. closer to a tie. Raise your pike high. We're going to go see Sally. Nice. Sally, we've never uh, met personally, but we've met Sally's boyfriend. Really? We have met him. And you're going to have to explain. I'm still lost. Now, Sally is a fish. Sally's a fish, yes. Yeah, that's Sally's right. boyfriend's a fish. And Sally's boyfriend's the reason that Doug's my boyfriend. Now I'm even more confused <laughs> than at the start. Can you, as an actual uh, U.S. Wisconsin person, uh, knowing the fish and, and the lady, can you explain? So we had a little bet, and Jesse's told me if I could catch a muskie that day, she would date me. We so, hadn't seen a muskie all day. All day. So we roll into the bay. So I thought my odds were good. Yep. So we roll in like two spots after we made the bet. I catch fish. But it's not big enough. It was like oh. a 38 incher, so it didn't count. So didn't she count. said, you have to catch a bigger one. Oh. Two spots later, we go to the spot where supposedly Sally lives. Jesse had seen the fish with some customers. And uh, I caught like a 46 incher. And that one was, that one was good enough. enough. Good enough for. Well, win, I, to win I the bet. I would have looked like a jerk if I would have yeah. made you go yeah, bigger. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out, I guess. Yeah, a year later, we're still here. Yeah. yeah. And we still haven't seen Sally or caught Sally. We haven't caught Sally yet, no, so. Well, There's a new cool. bet. Yeah. That, um. If you catch Sally, you don't break up. <laughs> 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 yes. Somebody's got to break up if we catch Sally. Hand hurts real bad all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna fish it hard. <laughs> For Sally, I will break up with you. You have a boat and I don't. <laughs> Who do you follow? Oh, he's still coming. There. Nice. Oh. 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 No. She was so lazy I had to hold it out a little longer than I wanted to. Bummer. He nibbled though. He did what he's supposed did, to do. Yeah, he came. You, get, you got hooks in there, didn't you? Yeah, I got hooks for a sec. Just, I don't know. I just sharpened these two. First spot with the bait. Just switched. But she came in so late. I didn't think she was going to go, so I went real slow and I hung in a little longer than I normally would. It looked like that's what it was going to take to get it to eat and just didn't get hooks right on her major. Yeah, it was kind of right on time. That was really, really fun to watch. What is so amazing about Cedar Island Lodge? Well, I think one of the coolest things about our resort is that it's family owned and operated. I know that a lot of our guests think that's pretty sweet, that when you come to a place, you kind of become a part of our family. But the fishing, as you can see right now, has its challenges, especially when it comes to muskies, but that's a lot of potential. There's a lot of water here. Um, we have a lot of really cool 
portage lakes as well that we fish out of that have zero pressure for the most part because they don't uh, see much humans there. But it's small, it's cozy. Um, we have like a 90% return rate every year. So like I said, like a lot of our guests are our family, become our family. I don't know, there's a lot of things that make it amazing to me. I guess it's different to everyone else. I really can't beat waking up here every single day. Um, the view out my window is pretty awesome. The scenery is incredible. It's not that far from the border, which is another really cool thing for Americans that come up to see us. But yeah, we have a lot of different species. Um, obviously, we're just fishing muskies right now, which is my favorite, but you can get on a really awesome lake trout bite, especially in September when they're just about to spawn. Um, I'd say springtime, walleyes are good when they're just off their spawn, and uh, the bass too when they're on their beds, that's really fun. But my favorite time of year to come up here is September. Um, the mosquitoes won't eat you alive and the weather's beautiful. It's still really nice, but it cools off at night. It's not so hot like we're experiencing today. But yeah, my parents are awesome. Our guests are awesome. It's an awesome lake. The spot we're going to. Yeah. Gotta be. We, we, we raised four fish in this small island. The island with two reefs, or one point, two points and a reef off of it. It's beautiful. But you know what? We're just going in humble because we've talked about these fish that we haven't seen. So, never seen a fish there. We're just going to a new spot. Yeah. New spot. Oh, oh one. That looks like the right thing. That is a muscalongo. That is a Look big fat chunker. I think you knocked him out with your hooks at Jess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now he woke up. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Nice job, Jess. Good fish. Ah, I love to see that. See, Matt, this is what we would call a window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you get these feeding windows, you know, we've obviously been fishing super hard today, super long, but uh, only seen a little bit of activity. We went in for dinner, came back out, we fished three spots, and this is our fourth encounter. Yeah, I was going to say, this is four now. Yeah. yeah. So it just shows that in the flip of a switch, you can go from a zero to a hero. Ooh. Very cool, and three fish just on this one little stretch of shoreline. Yeah. Pete has the stickiest pliers in all of Canada. Oh, come on. Those are Look at fully operable. Eight, eight years old, but you know, they work. <laughs> they just need a little grease. WD-40. God, that hammered it. They always hammer Good thing we fish down there, hey, because we weren't gonna. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't going to, so our plan was, well, we saw those fish, because we wanted to fish that bay, but then I didn't want, I didn't want to move yet, because we're gonna come back on the bigger ones that are here. I didn't want Pete to start the engine yet, so we just continued to fish down the shoreline, get into this next little bay with timber in it, and uh, we hooked up. That's a mess. You deal with oh, it. Oh, it's such a beautiful mess. Oh, Look at that tail. Oh, we can fix that. Yeah. God, whoever bought you this bait just was a genius. That was a Christmas present from Doug. <laughs> Icy. That's a little more like. How do you feel? Oh, it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> it feels really good. It feels like a good start to the night because now I'm thinking that we have a really good chance to get some more. We're definitely in a window, and the one that Jess just set up was uh, 
considerably bigger okay. than this one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that is true. Well, it's a beautiful evening here on a beautiful lake with tremendous company. We've had a wonderful time and uh, actually fishing was pretty good really overall considering the conditions. And we saw several nice fish tonight and uh, real close call on a big fish, about a 47, 48 inch fish that Jesse had. So. It was neat to see that, and it's just amazing, you know, with this calm, you'd always like to have a little wave action, but to watch some of these things happen in this crystal clear water, and to be able to, unfortunately, he wasn't hooked, but to watch that fish swim down, you can literally see it going down about 14 feet. But uh, tremendous time, tremendous people, great place here. One of the prettiest lakes on the shield. I'm sad it's over. But actually, I think tonight, well, tonight was for sure the most action we've seen in the least amount of time. Finally put one in the boat. Yeah, well, tonight just showed, like, how special this lake can be and just musky fishing in general, how you're one cast away from you know, your trip being made here. Those two fish that Jess had up were both really nice fish and what we really came here for. But, I mean... It just goes to show we moved four really nice fish in about a 45 minute window. And you never know when that window's gonna pop up. Tonight it was even quite a ways ahead of our major with moonset. Which means it could get dark soon and the camera will go dim, but we might still catch a fish. <laughs> Pete! Pete, man, you left a day too early. Third spot. We've only been out for like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, half hour maybe. And this chunky monkey came to visit. And she was wishing we were here. All right, here she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's so fat. Let's Smoked musky stagger, frenzy stagger on a new spot, well, old spot, but we were just turning the corner, so I think Pete left a day too soon. But we have more to catch, so let's go. Let's do it. What a fat fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Nice job, Jess. This is what a real pipestone muskie looks like. <laughs> Back. Imagine this thing when she's 50. Oh. Yes. Pete needs to come back. <laughs> Turn around. 